Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, um, my name is um, George Christopher Antonio Jackson. I just wanted to come on to just tell you what's been going on kind of in my life. What's kind of been going on in my wife's life. I'm married to Jacqueline Miller Jr. Jackson. Beautiful young lady, beautiful young lady. Well, we met say, in 2006. That's the first time. It's 11 years now, going on 12 years that my wife and I have been married. We have two beautiful children that we have alone. But we have five all together. Four girls and one boy. I'm just telling them that later to want to give my wife some great things. I just want to share with you guys. I'm on. I got some good things coming in 2020. <clears throat> I got some good things coming. Um, it, um, towards the end of this year um, as well so my wife is going to be the beneficiary and all those things that's coming so I want her to know the good things are coming it's a better attitude from my husband a better, a better father a better husband a better man of God is coming for my wife to be the beneficiary of all those great attributes 2020 is a new decade, the start of a new decade. I only can imagine where we're going to be throughout that decade. Jackie, I want you to know that I love you with all my heart. With all my heart. I love you with everything that's in And I want you to know that I'm looking directly to you. I want you to know that I love you with everything about you. The good, the bad, the ugly. You got a big head. I love that too. But no, I'm just saying. I'm but yeah, it's me again. Um, it's another continuation of um, um, me video journaling um, the things I want my wife to experience. So um, you see, babe, yesterday I told you I had to go to BMW. I didn't go to BMW. I was in Washington, D.C. I drove all the way to Washington, D.C. for you. And so, with that being said, I was in traffic for like crazy hours. There was all kind of accidents on the highway. I had to sit and wait for a lot of things. What I was going to do, fell through. Um, I was kind of depleted, you know, like, well, okay, I got to get ready to drive back home now. And I said, God, well, if, if this is meant to be, only you uh, would make it happen. And, out of the blue, something came up. Um, it worked out. Um, I didn't have to spend any money outside of the money that I was that I already had. And so then I had to come home last night. And coming home, leaving out of D.C. is crazy. And it was like three, four hours just in traffic to get outside of the traffic of being in D.C. and Virginia. So um, yesterday was a very, very long day. I had to end yesterday saying the, the truck kind of broke down and I was walking home and you know you got how you do what are you doing around with this stranger you don't know this person and I'm out here trying to just explain to you why and it really wasn't the case but that's the only thing, defense I had so um so here we are I right, just come and take a trip with me Yeah, again, you know, um, God has blessed us with a lot of things this year, um, taking us from not having to having to being in, in a neighborhood that's like really cool and just all these great things. So, you know, with that being said, I want to kind of show show you, if I show you. Um, some of the things that um, I've been doing because I know how you are. How you doing there, Mr. Bob? You doing good? Yeah, doing a little, doing a little video right here. <laughs> and so, um, you know, just with all that stuff, man, doing all what I was doing yesterday, things is just like really, really crazy. And so, I don't know. Just been trying to tell you how much I love you. And even with all that being done and all that being said, there's some things that's going to happen. That's, I'm hoping it's going to excite you or blow your mind. But 
here it is. Um, I went out and bought this right here for you today. And um, I took all the time to get everything I need to get and, and uh, just have it, you know, for you. It's just gonna be, I hope it excites you. I hope it shocks you. I hope it really make your, tickle your fancy in lack of a better word. This is what I was doing yesterday. I was out in these streets, <laughs> running up and down, trying to take care of some stuff for you. So that's how we gonna do it. You gonna come see right here. I parked it here last night, <laughs> right here in the neighborhood. So it was it was hidden in plain sight. But me knowing you, I know you weren't gonna look down here. So. That's why I just parked it here and I, and I walked in the house. I'm like, yeah, I'm just like 15 minutes away. I was really standing outside, <laughs> but I had to wait. It kind of, you know, but um, let's see here. I got to, um, I got to put this big bow on it. So I got a big bow that's going to go on here for you. And I've always wanted to do this was to buy something and to be able to experience and show this and I don't know I don't know who who is more excited me or will it be you but time will tell who's gonna be excited because I can't wait to see your expression and just what you're gonna say when when this is done so this is me putting your bow on now you know what your gift is so I've always wanted to do this, man. I've always, ever since I've seen the commercials on TV, I just wish it was snowing because a white car with a red bow and the white snow is like perfect. But you know what? This is going to be perfect as well. So I'm just glad. Um, I can't wait to see your response to see the aftermath after the gift has been exposed or revealed. So I'll see you later. Hey guys, it's me again. I just want to talk, brag about my wife again. Um, this year, 2019, it's, it's, it's all about, it's all about, it's all about you, babe. And I want you to really understand, um, you know what it is I'm trying to say that I love you. I've been, I've been running around the city all morning trying to get things right, trying to make things um, presentable for you because um, you're the best thing that ever happened to me um, from a standpoint of being married, having a partner. I wouldn't want no one else in life but you. And I want to show you that. Yes, words, words are good, but I know your love language is acts of service and gifts. So I, I can only pray and hope that this year will be one of your most memorable um, Christmases because you know we first, we just we just bought our first home together, um, which was awesome. Um, I just bought you a another set of rings where someone were, was, was clever enough to steal from our home. But, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. You was patient enough with me um, about, you know, getting you some rings. And I can appreciate that. So, with that being said, you just, you're the best. Me buying you all these little kind of rings and just things that you can have in your hand. So, you know, it will still represent a marriage, but more importantly, that you can have something, you know, on your finger. And so I was very elated when I was able to go and purchase um, the rings that you thought was the best for you. And it actually was more than I expected. It was actually better than I expected. So great job on, on, on finding them. Again, you're my queen. I love you. Um, I'm your king. And our kids are our princesses and, and prince. So just know, Jackie, I want you to know, I want you to 
remember this, that I love you with everything in me. Although I may act up sometimes, I do love you. I know something that you don't know. Yeah. So, you know, my man right here, Mike, man, he, he's shown me a lot of experiences in just life itself. But more importantly, um, how to take care of customers, how to take care of your wife, how to do things, you know, outside of the norm of what you, you know, you normally do. But, you know, I thank God for him because, you know, we met a couple of years ago with the choker. He, he was an investor. I was the VP. And it's just a lot of the great things, man. And, you know, some things went sideways with that with that company. But, you know, they're still on point to do great things. And But um, what I'm trying to say is that this guy right here, this guy right here that you're looking at, <laughs> we talk about it every day. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. My oh, wife yeah. be like, dang, you know, are you going to get off the phone? Give yeah. me some FaceTime? <laughs> And, and I, I hear his wife saying the same thing, like, oh, "Dad, yeah. we didn't he put a bed in the house for Chris." Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that he's shown me how to do a lot of things. I've shown him how to do a lot of things. But more importantly, when we first started off talking as friends, we used to get up six o'clock in the morning and pray That's together. We walked through the house, and <laughs> well, God is so good. My house was so small that I couldn't pray without Jackie hearing me yeah. because we had a small house. And he could go in another part of the room in his house. You know, he had a, he had a bigger house. But now, God be the glory, I got a bigger house. And I can go off in a small place and, and pray and, yeah. and she can't hear me. So, what I'm saying is that God is good all the time. And everything that, if you, if you keep God in the center of everything, great things are going to happen. Um, even when it doesn't look like it. Yeah. It's always a plan for God. We just got to stand fast, stay strong. And believe and trust in the process and, and what and, God is and, doing. And, and I'm gonna add something to that. You, you never know who you meet in life, whether they're there for a season, short or long. You maximize the time you have, whether it's being transparent, being supportive, being um, giving constructive crit constructive criticism. That's one thing that I want to have with other men is to make sure that, like Chris and I, to communicate with some honesty. Yeah. Tell on yourself, yep, right? Yep. Be able to say, hey, I messed this up yep, or didn't yep, do that yep, right. Yep. But the beauty of being able to stand here today is that it's, a, it's been a journey. Yep. Almost almost four years coming yeah, up. Yeah. And so uh, I know we both appreciate each other. Yeah. And uh, I know something you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at them nails. I said, I, I came out here to get the paper. I said, I told, I told Kina, I said, you know, your mama's on CP time. She said five minutes. It's been 15 minutes ago. Hold on, we get ready, Ken's get ready to do her little thing, so go get me walking, walking to your truck, to your car. And so, I gotta give you a gift. It's part of the script. Um, I don't wanna be on camera, I don't have a makeup or uh -huh. anything. Come back in the house. I'm so serious. Bro, yeah. hey baby. Merry Christmas. From who? From me. Why you keep giving me stuff early? Cause, I ain't got nothing to give you. Give it, give it now. <laughs> what? So you know, I just love you. No way. I know what it is, right? What is this? I just bought you a key ring or something in the future. Is that where our truck is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it really is on the side of the road. Yes, it's really on the side of the road. No, Calvin gave that to me. Man, this Blake, you can't play like that. I know, I know. But you know Calvin. He yeah, works there. Yeah, he works in line. He said, I know you always be talking about it, always be talking about it. I said, he said, here, take Look, he said, here, take I'm waiting for somebody to pull up. Oh, okay, ain't nobody pulling up. He said, look, do this to Jackie and tell her, you know. Where to pull up? There ain't no pull up. <clears throat> you done dropped our truck off. No. You full of games, always. Well, I, ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got no games like that. I wish I did, but I ain't got no game like that. But now we got to dance. She want to dance. No, I'm doing all of this with no makeup on. Hey, uh -uh, yes. no. I don't want to hear that. Come on. Ma, I can edit your makeup on. Yeah. No. Come on. I got marks all on my face. Uh-uh. Girl, you play too much. I ain't got no earrings on. Put that back in. Look how you always look. Yeah. What in the world? Stop all that. Come on, now. You done said you was going to do it. She done this for her. You ain't yeah. telling me you was doing it today. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did all this to yeah. give me a keychain? Yeah. Really? 
Um, the sound of this car is kind of like drowning the sound out. Oh, it is? Yeah. Turn, turn the trip off. Got the toes done, got the Uggs on, got that bling bling on. Look at that ring, though. Look at that ring. <laughs> that brother got that ring. I'm not doing this when I wake up on. Oh, come on. Just... Oh. Y'all are so it's serious. serious. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yes. Put your hands Don't up. be so extra, baby. Don't be so extra. I oh, just love it because you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? I can see him all in your eyes. What is it? Wow. There's something about it you see. Wow. It makes me know. This is a new car. What is it? And this here is not an everyday love. No, no. No, it ain't no what's the name. It's ours. I'm sure we can it's be. It's not mine. It's your one. Wow, it's mine. There's one thing about it. There's one thing about it. We got You think you're slick. That's why you cleaned out the glass. <laughs> you think you are slick. I want to be seen. <laughs> I was in DC all day yesterday. So bad. I drove all the way to DC. Oh, man. Sixteen hours. Don't worry about all that. I want to hear you scream. I'm not screaming. Yes, you did. <laughs> That's the AT. Stop, Joey. Wow. Stop. Stop. This is like a dream. Oh, you want one? It's like a dream. I'm still picking my dirty garage. How are you going to drive it now? Wow. Is this for real? Get in. I can't. Ain't no space. Move. You go to the door right there. Move. Start it up. Start it up.
ngu rồi ngu up in a rental expecting us to go get our truck that was supposedly broke down on the highway and he supposedly yesterday went to uh, uh excuse my makeup um yesterday went to uh work in south carolina but no he went to go pick up you like dude you get more than 12 days for christmas <laughs> Hey, hey! That's all right, sir. That's all right. I'm the sir she's talking about. I'm the Jackson that happened. So, um, 2019, um, my wife and I have been talking about just different things happening in life, and so um, I want to bless my wife with a new truck that she can drive, be happy about, um, be safe in. All the things that go with it. So, so for her, um, I bought her um, a GL 450 Mercedes. Daddy, can and, um, you drive it now? This is this is this is what I love to do is to see her smile and see her. Girl, I heard about that Christmas gift, girl. I'm so happy for you and a little jealous, but it's all good. I hope you enjoy. But I really appreciate our friendship. How we can just talk very candidly and open. And I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, girl, and Merry Christmas. Hey, Jackie, this is Eric, and I heard about your Christmas gift. Chris is just making us all look kind of bad here. But I want to let you know how much I appreciate your testimony and your ability just to lead us into worship and lead the other singers. You're awesome. And Merry Christmas. Hey, Pastor Jackie. I'm excited for you and your gift that you got for Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you. I thank you for your leadership and your servant's heart. And um, I love you. I hope you and your family have a very, very Merry Christmas. Pastor Jack, I heard about your little gift. And I just wanted to tell you that I really appreciate you as a person and how you uh, better me as a musician in all aspects and your leadership. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, Pastor Jack. Merry <laughs> Christmas, Jackie. You heard about your awesome present. I expect to ride. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, I talked about being a conduit of blessings that God knows. That he, Crossing in the All right. God, that God knows that if he can get things to you, to get through you, that he can bless you with more. So I just want to let you know that I am I'm in a position to receive a new car. If you want to be a conduit of God's blessings, just want to let you know I'm available to be that. Did you also you. talk about manipulation a couple weeks ago? Yeah, don't let people manipulate you, but follow God, follow the Spirit of God. Hey, Merry Christmas. We love you, we appreciate having you here. The concert was awesome. Was hey, we're, gonna, we're getting ready for a fast, so go ahead and have a bite. We love you. Hey mom, I heard about your gift. I'm so excited for you. I know you've been wanting one. I don't like that. You gotta do it. Aunt Jackie! I heard about your 
a gift from. Mm. Mm. That's all I can say. Just, mm. um, <laughs> Mom, congratulations on your truck. I know that makes you super happy. Can't wait to ride you with you. Um, I appreciate everything you do for the family. You're so giving and caring. I appreciate just your caringness, like how you took me under your like wing and have been my like mentor figure since. So um, I just love you. I love everything about you and just thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Jeff Briggs. Jackie, I heard about your gift. In fact, I actually saw it in the parking lot. And uh, what I appreciate about you is the fact I can borrow that vehicle anytime I want. Um, and and other than that, your heart and uh, you bless us with your son, your voice every week. A beautiful job this week. And, uh, because of you, I, I will never sing in public, obviously. But thank you so much for all you do. We appreciate you. Looking for my ride. Looking for my ride. Merry Christmas and Merry congratulations Christmas. on your truck. Um, we're so happy for you. And I just wanted to say that we're thankful for um, your heart of giving and how much you love on us and support and appreciate everything that you do. And we love you and hope you enjoy your new truck. And Merry Christmas. And we thank you for all that you do and that you love on us. I love you, Mommy. Love you. Thank you for supporting us. And thank you for, for um, um, thank you for protecting us. us. Thank you for being nice for us. For us and thank you for you my unicorn for, for being nice and soft and cozy. And I love and love my mom and her heart and Amy and I love her. Hey Jackie, I heard about your Christmas present. Jeff's going to have to step up to the plate. He's got to do a little better. So anyway, but I appreciate you so much. Your patience with me and teaching me, and I've learned so much from you. You have such a beautiful spirit, and you're beautiful all over. And I love you so much, and thank you for everything you do for the church. Hey Jackie, I heard about your Christmas gift. I'm so excited for you. Hey, and I just want you to let you know that you are one of the most genuine people that I've ever known and I'm so grateful to be able to work alongside of you and to see you in action, serving the Lord and bringing people into worship. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Hey PJ, hey. I heard about your nice new ride. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Can't oh, wait to see you in it. Look at you, rolling fast. <laughs> rolling, but we love you so much. We so appreciate you. Your grace, your poise, the way you carry yourself is just it's amazing, and you know that we love you. Yeah. You can see the Holy Spirit all over you. God always works through you and in you and through your life, so keep up the good job. Love you. Hey, Pastor Jackie. So I just heard about your Christmas present, and I'm a little jealous, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Because I, I didn't get anything close like that for Heather, but if anyone deserves a present like that, it's definitely you. And I just appreciate you so much because I know how much of a servant you are. And uh, you're one of the real reasons uh, in the first impression that I got when I came to this church, to be honest with you. Uh, we were invited to come to a, a praise and worship um, just at night around 6 o'clock. And uh, you were the first person I saw and heard and uh, just fell in love with the people, your voice, and your leadership. And I'm uh, just so proud of you for everything that you do for everyone. So Merry Christmas to you. I heard about your present. That's going to be an awesome present for you to drive around. And you're going to look real good in it. So Merry Christmas. Hey, Pastor Jackie. Merry Christmas. I heard about your Santa gift. I think that is awesome. You deserve it. We love you. And I truly appreciate everything that you do here at City Gate. And just in my life personally, you know, uh, you keep things in check. And I appreciate that. Love you. Hey, Pastor Jackie. Merry Christmas. I appreciate you as well. I appreciate your light and your grace. And even when you don't know it, you're teaching me stuff. Uh, I really appreciate and love you. I hope you enjoy your gift. You deserve it. Hey, Mom. So, I'm so happy that you got your gift. Um, and I just want to say that I really, really, really appreciate you all the time. And I know I tell you this a lot, but to me, words fall short when it comes to explaining to you how grateful I am for you. Um, for sending your family tree out and making me a part of the family and treating me as one of your own for me. Okay. And right now you're talking. Okay. Okay. No, you're not talking. Okay. So, but yeah, thank you for just being you 
and thank you for everything that you do for me and I truly thank God for you. Yeah, love you. Yeah. So, here it is. You're seeing this video, by now you know the gift that I got you for Christmas. <sighs> Boy, what I had to go through to think about this. I've been planning this probably three months out and um, apologize for some of the little fibs I had to tell and you know making you upset about certain things but you, you like a DA you always ask interrogating questions and so I'm just like what the what you know but um, basically what I want to do is Jackie's tell you that I love you I love you more than life I'm so happy to, that you're my wife I'm so happy that you're my friend um, and of course uh, I listen to you sometimes but I'm gonna get better at that but still um, I want you to know that um, it was a joy to my heart to see all the things that we shared in the past couple of months because we shared the same things when we lost a lot of things um, you know in the past couple of months we bought a house together I bought you a new set of wedding rings and then I bought you a great gift and and buying being able to afford a, a, a brand new truck for you so just seeing that brought more joy to my heart than me getting anything but um on those 12 days of christmas just remember the numbers has increased now so i appreciate that as well <laughs> but i want you to know that i love you i love you i love you and um, thank you for being my friend and um even though i chose you you still accept me so I love you.